So you want to use pose libraries to control your facial shape keys. Not a problem. Now, there's a million ways to do this, and everyone does it differently. And since your bones and shape keys are almost definitely different than mine, in this tutorial, I'm not going to waste your time showing you exact details and numbers, because they probably won't apply to your exact bone shapes. This tutorial will be more like general directional advice, in order to help you decide how you want to set up your driver bones. But the basic idea here is you're going to go into edit mode, put a few bones on the face, then you're going to connect the facial shape keys to these bones with drivers. This will allow you to trigger the shape key by moving the bones in the face. That being said, you will need to understand drivers in order to pull this off. If you don't know drivers yet, I got an entire series that's less than 15 minutes long that you can watch to get up to speed. Now, how many bones you have will depend on how you want to control the face. Some people like to have total control over every little detail. These people tend to have separate shape keys for the left eye, the right eye, the left eyebrow, the right eyebrow, and they'll have a bone for each in order to control them separately. Other people who know exactly what animations are required will only prepare pose libraries for the faces that they need. For example, I know for a fact that in our next game project, Blender will never need to close or raise one eye at a time. So I'm not going to prepare bones to control that. The way I do it is I have a bone for each eyebrow, one bone to control the eye expressions, one bone for the mouth, and one bone for the tongue. That's it. Now remember, you don't have to stress out too much on how you control them because at the end of the day when you're animating, you are just going to go to your pose library library to set faces whenever you need them. But here's how I set up my drivers. The left and right eyebrows both have shape keys for going up and down. And I've set the driver to trigger to this bone's Z position. So when I move this bone up, this shape key triggers. When I move this bone down, then that shape key triggers instead. Same thing for the other side. Now my eye drivers are a little different. I have two types of shape keys for the eyes. Open eye expressions and closed eye expressions. So the way I set it up, as you move the eye bone up, it cycles through all the open eye expressions. like glare, sad, and surprised. But as you move the bone down, it cycles through all the closed eye expressions, like blinking, focusing, pain, and pleasant. And that's really it. One bone, move it up to cycle through these, move it down to cycle through those. And here are the trigger numbers in case you want to know. The mouth is a little different. Instead of having an up and down ladder like the eyes, I got this cross system, where all the talking shapes use this bone's position as triggers. So if you move the bone left, you get the A vowel sound. You move it up, and you get the E sound. If you move it to the right, you get OO, down for a, and if you pull it out, you get O. And if you pull it back, it'll cycle through all the consonants, like PBM, TH, FV, and L. This setup also allows you to easily mix and match in between if you want. If you rotate the mouth to the left, you get a smirk. If you rotate it down, you get a frown. Rotate it forward to get gritting, and rotate backwards to give you yelling. And that's all there is to it. Don't make it more complicated than it needs to be. When you're done setting up all your drivers, just save them as poses in a library and you'll be good to go. If you really like the way I did it, and you'd like to be able to replicate it, then this rig will be available for download within the next three or four days. Courtesy of the incredible Patreons who sponsored its creation. So give them a pat on the back. I hope you look forward to the rig. We've been working on it for the last three months, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And I'm excited to finally give it to you. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.